is uh, Mr. Prakash, who uh, um, installed and designed this uh, system, and so he's going to give us a bit of an explanation on how it works. Namaste, and thank you very much. And we'd like to thank you, uh, Ambrose and team, for all the partners we make this project happen for 500 kids who are attending this school for 200 days in a year. So I'm talking about some technical stuff of this filter system. Let me open this because the visibility is not very good here. So we'll get some better look from this side. I'm sorry, I can't go it's up oh, there. So I can go. Uh, these are two filter system. Uh, thank you, Ambrose, for helping me on opening this. So this, these are two basically pre-filtration mechanism. The first one hold a spoon filter, which is around five micron size, uh, with a made from polypropylene. We'll take out the bigger particles from the water, so that the load of the water contaminants won't go and hit the main cartridges. The second one is a CIF. CIF is a kind of blending of carbon and polypropylene in a single cartridge. It's again 2.5 into 20 inch long cartridge, which again protect water from the bigger dots, as well as some physical properties like smell and odor from the water. And the water then flows into this main 3M cartridge. It's a 0.2 micron size uh, impact filtration technologies, which take out the maximum viruses and bacteria from it, from water. It also holds silver iron as a battery stack component which suppress the growth of microorganism inside the filter. So it's already taken care of physical, chemical and microbiological impurities in water and make the water safe and flow from this plumbing to all four tanks. And we can also measure how many water being consumed from this water meter so that we can proportionate that with the number of child versus consumption of water that is going to proportionate with the uh, more scientific and medically defined volume of water per child per, year, per day. So this is how it happened. So I'd like to thank you, Ambrose, Jennifer, and entire team, and the school management to make this project happen. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, I do have a couple questions. Um, so, how often do the filters have to be changed? So, every three months we do this. Okay. Every six months this, and once in a year, or maximum okay. a year and a half, this goes. Because this is more uh, capacity defined, it right. holds around 50,000 gallon of water. So, okay. for example, if it's consumed only 40,000 gallon in a year, this will go one year plus. If it's 60,000 gallon consumption is needed for the school, then it's, it will last less than a year. Okay, okay. And uh, are there any other improvements planned to the system? Okay, one more thing after this recent cholera outbreak, what we have thought is, I mean, we came to the school, we advised the school to do the chlorination of their reservoir tank so that we can put additional checkpoint for the microbiological contamination. And seeing that happen, we have decided to put one more UV system parallel after this trim so that any particles, microbiological particles I'm talking about, if that penetrate from the system by any chance, then this UV will give additional kickback on that and the water become double safe. So it's a kind of complementing piece on microbiological handling. Okay. Otherwise, we still say it's a 99.99% is safe. Great. Thank you very much. Welcome.